So here we are in Photoshop again, and we can turn this layer on and off. So now we have our image map kind of in place. So we can turn this off, and let's talk about blemishes. Let's talk specifically about three ways that we can look at reducing uh, blemishes. So the key here is to make sure that we're evening the skin. We're not trying to soften the skin or make the skin perfect. We're just trying to even the skin. We recognize a lot of things that we need to make sure we address with this retouch to straighten things out. But we want to pull our punch. We want to handle things methodically. So the first thing we want to look at is the blemishes. So we can go about the blemish removal many, many different ways. And let me zoom in to show you a couple of different ways. Now, we can use a lot of the retouch tools that are being used are found in here. And like, say, the patch tool. So we can use the patch tool to patch areas like this. But what happens is if we make a circle, say, on this, and I'd like this to be patched, I can't make a move because I don't have any image information to work with. It's trying to patch nothing from nothing. So if I deselect that by hitting Command D and I Command J the background to jump the background and make a copy of it and then use that as my patch layer. I can call this patch. And use that layer. I can now make some changes. I can go through this image and we can start making some changes. Now you're going to find that two things. That this is can be very helpful in certain situations, but you have to ask yourself a question. Is it worth loading the pixels? Or can I achieve this a different way and get better results? And also be very cautious of taking too big of an area all at once and getting kind of frustrated and uh, and trying to work too quick. So the next method that I'd like to show you would be turn this off and we're going to get a new layer. We're going to put the new layer above this and we're going to call this one cloning. So the, the cloning layer can be found under, under here in the clone stamp tool and here you're going to option click to to signify a, uh, a sampling point and then you're going to paint where it is. Now pay attention to the brushes. The brushes up here are, we're going to go back to normal and put everything at 100%. So we've got you know maximum everything. And you can get some good results but you can get some very bad results with this because it's basically taking pixels from one area and it's just plopping them in another area. So if they don't match, there's nothing to blend them together. So let's hit Command, Option, and then Z once, twice, three times, and then we'll go back to our to our layer. So working with the clone tool can be very beneficial in a lot of situations, but making sure that you get some texture blending in here is also very important. So we're going to look at under the patch tool. We're going to look under here this healing brush tool not the spot healing brush. Now notice that my brush is a different shape. It's angular and it is thin. So under the brush tool we bring the hardness way down and we change the angle. And You can change the angle by just swinging this and you can change the thickness of the brush this way. Now this is unique to this brush but the pixels will lay themselves down better and you'll get better blending with a brush of this shape. I'll get a little bit smaller brush and I'll do the same method. Command click on the sample part. Now when we do this with the clone stamp tool or the heel brush please note that we're doing current and below. So it's sampling from everything on the current layer and below it. So if you have just current layer on it's not going to work because there's nothing on the current layer but if you need to have current below on to sample that and the align sampling points can be there if you're going to want your cursor and your sampling point to move wherever you happen to be brushing but I like to just make sure that 
if this is on, I still sample a lot. So I will click, swipe, click, swipe. I, go, I sample next to the point, and I handle one point at a time, and I go pretty slow and very methodical. And again, my objective is just to basically even the skin. I'm not looking to soften the skin. I'm just looking to take down these blemishes that um, that my skin softening is not going to address. And the more you do this, the more you'll understand what your skin softening will be able to accomplish and what it won't. Now, these edges can be kind of tricky, so getting in close or also using a small brush and using small strokes. Now this, notice one thing, I am doing things that I'm, I'd like to eliminate entirely. Now what I would normally do is I normally, I normally put a lot of emphasis on the heel brush. Spot heel brush is good, but it's kind of a quick, t a quicker tool. Um, this is, gives you a little bit more precision because you can actually f tell Photoshop where you want the sample to come from and it's going to blend in accordingly. But now, once this is done, I'm going to call this Remove. And everything I do on this layer is going to be removed. So I'm, I'm okay with it being 100%. But I'm going to get a layer above this. And I'm going to call this layer Reduce. Now, you can have multiple Reduce layers. And what I put on this layer, whether it's clone stamping or heel brushing, doesn't make any difference, but it's areas that I want to basically bring back a little bit. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to finish up hitting these little spots and I will rejoin you and we'll talk about the reduced layer and, and handling these hot spots next.